Hello chemists and welcome back to this two minute Tuesday here on Bales Chemistry. It's two minutes of the chemistry that you really need to know. This week we're talking all about percentage uncertainty. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Measuring equipment that we use in the lab has an uncertainty. This is how sensitive the equipment is. Uncertainties are often shown with this symbol, followed by the value of the uncertainty. If the uncertainty is not listed on the equipment, then we can assume that it's half the value of the smallest increment on the measuring scale. So if a value is given as 25 centimeters cubed plus or minus 0.05, what does that actually mean? Well, this gives us a range that the actual measurement will fall. So in this case, it will be somewhere between 24.95 and 25.05. When thinking about the impact of uncertainty on our recorded values, we have to look at how many times we take a reading using the equipment. If it's a simple one-off reading, such as reading a temperature off a thermometer, a mass off a balance, or the volume from a measuring cylinder, we only have to consider the uncertainty once. However, if it's a measurement requiring two readings, such as a temperature change, a reading from the burette, or a change in mass, all these values involve two readings, so the uncertainty is doubled. Percentage uncertainty is where we link the uncertainty of equipment to the values that we're measuring. We do this by dividing the uncertainty by the value and multiplying it by 100 to get a percentage. Remember, if we take two readings, we've doubled the uncertainty. So in this case, we multiply the uncertainty by two before carrying out this calculation. In our first example, we'll look at measuring a mass with a balance. Because it's only one reading, we take the uncertainty and we divide it by the value. And in this case, we work out an uncertainty of 0.4%. In our second example, we're looking at a temperature change. This has two readings, so in this time we'll multiply the uncertainty by 2. This works out at 0.69%. Thanks chemists for watching this 2 Minute Tuesday. For more of these short videos, click up here. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click down here.